Okay. You can help her out if you want. She's starting. It's okay. Oh, so we've got a schedule. Yeah.
jot something down. We start. I'm under my seventh class already. It started September second. No, it ends at night. Then I have a. Uh, then have spring break, and then uh, then they have exams, midterms. <laughs> then I start October 26 to December 11. Then the semester ends. I do two terms, but they broke the semesters into two terms so that they could split the class.
she <coughs> she sent you one email, right. just, so it's conflicting as to what she plans to do. But she came, um, and she comes on Sundays, both Sundays.
Say you punched here. Here. Yeah, yeah. I'd have to go to here. Mm-hmm. And then I have to And the follow through is off the knee. Yeah, but it's because I turn my body. See? Oh, you're so centered. So, see? See, this is, this is the illusion. That I didn't turn. I turned. But I did not. But I turned my body is still over my knee. Because yeah. it's a relative position. So when I'm like this. Cover? Vertical. So, this this is what you have to remember. Because sometimes, see, see, it's really this in 45. This in 40. Yeah, even more. So, the, the, the arm's good, right? The arm's good. But if you turn a little more, you add some volume. Turn a little more. Ah. A little better, yeah. <laughs> still low, still low. Still a little low. Still a little low. Still a little low. Still a little low. Too low? Yeah, because you're here. Your elbow's here. So when you come up high. Come a little high. You know why? Because you want to lift your elbow and then sink your elbow. Ah. If you don't lift, then you're only in here. Ah, you see? Yeah. Yeah. So you get more volume. Ah. You know, ask him the beer and fill it up. More volume is taller. Right? As it's going up the side, this is covered. It's not really exaggerated like this. Okay, now this one. Yeah, yeah. So if you're in the second form, you're the best. Okay. That's a little different. It's kind of like when you go like this, right? So this is like the two covers. And then when you open, this is like this. So this is like this. This little open is now. This covers. This covers. Yeah. So this is the same problem as two in. See, see, Gongji Kun, right? Gongji Kun is a, um, it's a, it's really a basic form. A lot of the fundamentals in, it's a pillar form, actually one of the core forms in, in Hunga. 
So because of a lot of fundamentals, you notice a lot of the movements that are in the other forms are in this form. So, you know, they support each other. So if you do them better in the first level of forms, the first few forms, they'll cross into, so when you learn Gumji Kun, it's much easier. Now if you learn Gumji Kun first, and then learn the other forms, the same thing would happen. Because the form is really just housing those movements. But when you get to Gumji Kun, it has a lot more complex movements, so it's too long for a beginner to learn in the beginning. So it's good, yeah, so that's better. Yeah. yeah. Okay, again, ready? Pause, oh, slow it down. Pause. Okay, so actually your body can turn a little bit more here. So what happened when you turn here? You close your hip, and your knee came forward, comes forward. Now that's where your hip should be. Oh. Wow. Ah. Ah. If, your hip, if, if, you, if your hip doesn't go there, then you didn't, yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. Now you, okay, now, now. I can understand it, but I got to get yeah. the body now. Now you feel, now feel it. Yeah. Because you had the upper body, you didn't have the lower body. Okay, now let's add a new dimension, another dimension, okay. not a new one, okay. Turn, one, two, three, right? Arch. Here, ah. Now you added another, you're going. you know where it's going. I know where you're going, it's just, it has to be. Who goes up, goes down. That goes, that goes forward, right? So, that's what body form is, the, the the imagery of your movement and the the side, the, the body form. So it's one, two, three, four, five. So your body is going, that's multi-dimensional motion. Cross crosses many multiple planes of movement. Okay. One. Okay, do it again. One. Two. Two. Arch. Arch of the. Oop. <laughs> <laughs> pretty good. Pretty good. I knocked her glasses off without knocking her. She, you know. One. Vertical. Two. Pull. Elbow. Arch. Arch your back. Boom. But don't let the. One. Two, three, sing. No, well, one. Group. Well, this is circular. 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 Then this is one. So this is coming around. Arch. Throw. Throw your back into it. Right. It's like throwing a baseball. Arch your back and whoosh, you can't go like this. That's good for shooting uh, paper balls into baskets. So you can watch the transition. So I got this, and then how do I set up to bend my back? Pull back. Which kind of, all I do is just just, just into the move here. One, two, three. But balance, passive active, right? First movement, right? One, two, three, four. Because every every time you pass through a phase, your body. Now when I'm here, one, two, three, four. Then my hand is like this. It was like this. Now it's like this. Uh huh. Bridge. Yeah, because now you lift, you lift, you see, you have strength here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, so here, then you, yeah, so, so your hand is not tied together, yeah, so, one, oh, so it's one, two, three, four. One, turn, 
two, three, arch, four. The final, you know, you knock on someone's door. You knock on, knock on the noggin, knock on the noggin. <laughs> the second point sticks. <laughs> right in the noggin. So change of disposition. Yeah, change. What happens after that? No, no, the door opens. <laughs> now see. <laughs> so movement should be compatible with direction, and then a sound with that. The movement, because this is arc, there's an arcing motion. It's circular. So it's a leopard, really. So a leopard, the, the knuckles are like this. Because the strength comes through here. Now you would not punch like that because the punch is driving up. But you would do this because this is the leopard like this. And so Just like, the last yeah, it it curves like this. Yeah, it's so it gives you the alignment of your your hand, right? You when you learn full hawk, you have two of them. Yeah. Cutting hand. That's a leopard. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Right. And then it comes. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. the elbows actually dictate direction. Yeah. 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 Because if you don't drive it from the elbows and the rest of it relax the shoulders, then this can become stiff and then those two don't cooperate. So I jotted together something and I got it on the, I could share it with you, it's, kind of, it's, in, it's in the, the thing on the, the Apple thing, it's got like a writing thing, so I'll just copy and send it to you, you can edit it, you can edit it. Yeah, you can. Actually, I guess I, I just broke it into three basic things, and you can see it. Um, and then you can expand on it if you think it needs to be uh, tied into it, if you think it would work for you. Yeah, so, so what, what he has to do is send that out. See if it's interesting. We can sign up, it better be sign up for no one And I get an email with this that I need to send out to for invites to the Zoom and I'm hosting it so I have to do that. And you don't have a, a Zoom uh, platform like that you use to school. You have a school one? So does he want me to use that or should I use that? Um, because I'm, yeah, I'd, I'd have to log into well, I have to log into Wellfeed and, and then invite. But if he, but if he used his school zone, um, well, I, if I get the emails, then I can put it, put it in, send it to them. Because I have to get that mass list of how many people are in. It's good about my 20, 30. We went up to 50, but I don't think it's 50. So at the same time, you know, I don't know if you, the email list is more easy to get if it's at the school. Yeah. 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 So whoever gets, so I just get it, so I just copy it. Because I'll type all of them wrong. <laughs> And it's 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 NEC. Yes. Yeah. 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 
Yes, two days. So you repeat all this with a stop of it. Yeah. So I can get the. Uh, I can get that. I do that on the Zoom. And it's not. It just filters it all the way down. But yeah, you have to. You have to do the invite. Once it's on the invite on the rear corner, then they'll all get it. They'll all get it. You have reoccurring ones, right? But I got them. Zoom classes reoccurring every same time, certain days. Yeah. So do you do it? So it just cycles through, right? How many you have? Like 12 of them. So it'd be seven on one week and seven on another. Yeah, so, yes. so I, I have a Google account, I have a, I have a CTC Google account, and I have a Wellesley account. So Wellesley says, and I take out my stuff, because I don't want my stuff mixed in. So, so well, I, I would have to have an email for it, you know, and see what happens. So, uh, I probably use my CTC one for the Google account, and then I'll, I'll go with Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. All right, as long as I don't get confused. Okay, I'll just ask you. I'll say, I'll say, Kim, I'll say, Kim, I don't know how to do this. Yeah, you know, the, the scheduling is easy. Once it's done, then I can do it. So it's pretty easy. But it's just the logistics getting to that point. The Yeah, it's, it's much better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, not like that, shrink it a little. So when you're like this. Yeah, in other words, just get, get a little of this, bend that a little, and a little bit of that. So, so it turns this way. The first time it's down, the second time it's this. Yeah. But it doesn't, but it doesn't, it's like that, but it doesn't go up, it just kind of turns. With that, it's just here. Was that okay? Because I'm used to doing this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we have the opposite too. See here. Yeah. <laughs> Push. Oh, what? The water was running down the wrong drain. Oh. Okay, go this way. Because you did a pole. That's <laughs> because yeah. oh, the pole, yeah. Go toward the pole. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah. stick because uh, did you finish it uh, you didn't you finished <laughs> so, so how'd you do it with that marguerite no. okay. let me 
can take you by your hand. One, two. Yeah. Turn. Now here. Three. And then pull back. Turn your body. Arch your back. Yeah. And then come to the stance. So go ahead. I'll do it with you. Ready? Do it. One, two, right? Three, four. So when this goes down, this goes back. Three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, but it, it's tied to your body. It goes out, but you have to turn. If you don't turn, the whole arm goes. This is what it looks like if you don't turn. Go to vertical first, cover, pull back. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. You're gonna do. The, you're gonna run through the stick slowly. Yeah. Maybe Peter wants to do the stick. Oh. Okay, let's do it. Want to do the? You want to do the drill first? Do the drill first. Okay, let's do a few drills first. Oh. So this is just horizontal. One, two, three. Right. Now, connect to the leg, right? One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Two, three. So if your legs do that, then whatever you do the form, the action, when you're here. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two. See? So your body has to connect with the motion. One, one, two, Three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, right? So this sink, push, sink, push, shift. So you open up the one, two, three. So you feel it in your legs, yeah. Because you to build your coordination for the upper or lower, the legs has to be part of those movements. If you don't have those part of movement, then it's just just your arms. Now, you know first you learn the sequence. Obviously, you have to memorize the sequence. Then you build your understanding of the posture. Then you build the integration. Right? You have the upper body, you have the lower body, you have the the torso. So these three areas of the body has to become, you know, integrated, working as, you know, in harmony, unification. So we have one, two, three, one, two, three, four, right? So once you have those basic motions, then you have your idea. One, two, so this, and this, this, and this, 
the same motion. So I'm here, but I'm sinking, right? So when I'm here, I sink, right? And then the hand stick is going to do this. So I st lift, hop, and then press as you go down. And then you shift, turn, step, poke. So there's the leg work. So the legs have to be coordinated with the, the stick. So that's what we have to, you know. So sequence is here. So in here, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So after you well, after you're down here, open it back up. Shift, step, sink, step, poke. Yeah. So So this is this, right? So this is one, two, three, four, five. Here. One, two, three, three. So when the hand does this, this movement is like this movement. See? So those movements are common. You have those basic motions. So this natural as possible, right? So come across, come the other way, no, the top one, swing them out, come up, go here. So that's the Im imagery. You try to get the body form, right? The body form. So when you do a, a basic motion like that, is you're looking for the position, you're looking for where this hand goes here, you're looking for where this hand goes here, you're looking all these positions because your, your skeletal structure has to be positioned correctly. And then you build off of that muscle memory and those transitional type things and then your body starts to recognize. Then when you do the form, it goes back in by itself or you have to be aware of it anyways. And then it starts to, you know, form and you start to evolve with movement, with the movement. So, so important thing is just stance. So this foot should actually be here. Your front foot should, your front foot, yeah. More, more right here, yeah. And then spread your knees out. You know, a horse stance is here, but then it shifts. I'm here and then I turn, I turn. So these interim position, drop knee stance. Here, here, here. So your stance goes through. So the, uh, the legs have to be, you know, moving in the hips and the thigh, right? Yeah. 
So drive it from the body, then don't have to put so much. Okay, yeah. All right, now you can go through the sequence. Those are just basic. Those are, that's a basic uh, yeah, foundation movements, all right? Those are foundation. So you can roam over there. Uh, you can step up a little. Can okay. Yeah, Paul, you want to go over there? Paul's, Paul's got that on the other side of the bag. Kim, you can move this way a little. All right, I'm going to go hide over there. Okay, ready? <laughs> All right, ready? Begin. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. One. Two, three, one, two, three, one, pick it up. Okay, whoop, oh, yep, take your time. So you should be straight facing in a suspended stance. Straight, so, so you're really straight like this. Yeah. And then the next one is you're twisted like this. Okay, poke. One. Two, three, four. It's over to the corner. Yeah. Poke, turn, poke, strike, leaning stance, strike, poke, suspended, pull, push, turn to this back. Poke down, knee up, sink the elbow, turn. High block, strike, poke, step up. Okay, so this is 90 degrees to the body now. So this is, yeah. So it's not quite as to the corner, right? So you just have to come to here and then turn to here. Then suspend it and poke. Lift, strike, adjust, drop, step, shift, step, push, shift, step, 45 high, drop, elbow behind the stick. So your elbow should be behind the stick. One, two, repeat, three, turn. High, strike, poke, step, 90, pull in, cross behind, step up behind, two, three. Okay, let's just try that last movement again. So if you look at it, it should be here. One, two, three, goes here. Four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Bring the front foot. Bring the front foot back. Spin. Open back up, push, sweep and jump, strike, adjust, turn and poke. Turn again, one, pull, push. Okay, here's your cross step, one, two, hop, three, one, two, poke. Repeat, front foot, spin. One, jump, poke, turn, turn again, lift, push, next, step forward, hop, step backwards, cross behind, and poke, turn, strike, step forward, 
Step backwards. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three. Close. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, pretty good. So all we just have to build is better footwork and timing. That's all right. The footwork, don't rush the footwork. It just has to be built so it's a unit. You know, at the end, when we're here, goes one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three. So the upper lower coordination, because if we talk about substantial and insubstantial, when you're here, you step forward, one. You step forward, two. Shift, one. That goes with the leg. This goes with the leg. That finishes the stance. Lift, sink, sink, poke, pull, turn, drop, let it up, boom, step out, boom. See, so you know everything follows that basic format. You want to build timing at the end of the movement. What happens transitionally? will vary based on how good you manipulate your elbows and shoulders. But the stance work is, you know, it's you know, all part of that. So stance work is developed and built in your fist forms. If you can't, you know, because when you learn to stick, your foundation form should be pretty good because of the footwork, and then you build off of that. So, but you know, a lot of times when you start the form, still some timing and coordination is lacking. So you build off of that. You know, the stick is very good to get both sides working because now you have that, you know, you can't let go of the other side because they're working together. So that'll help you build that. And then you, when you sink, you're more familiar with the fact that you're stepping and you're stepping so you build the separation between the footwork where one is solid, one is empty. Yeah. So, so you don't want to be turning in your stance and then fin you're turning. You're still transitioning in the stance. You're never solid before you finish it. Yeah. So that's a timing. It's, a, it's also part of the, your sensory system. You're feeling. How's that feel at the end of the movement? And then track it. You guess gaze. You don't have to just, you just gaze overall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this covers. Bop, bop. It's not enough to hit him in the groin. <laughs> you block him, poke him in the throat, then you smack him in the side of the head, hit him on the top of the head, and then hit him again. This was and, the groin one. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Well, this, this, this too, you know, when you hit, this can go up to the chin or up here. See? And then I'm here. And then this goes right to the throat. Then this goes to the side of the head. This goes over the top. Over the top. Poke again. But though, you know, that's just a reference point. You, you target a position. Use your own body as a reference. The throat, the head, the head, the sides. And then you have a reference point. Then you know how high this, this, the stick should go. You don't want the stick to be up there. Except for this, 
but that's really coming from the side. Yeah. And then strike. Yeah. Let, let it go, yeah, deep in the stance. Yeah, good. So when you're in the stance, you just have to, from here, just. So you, when when you're sitting here, right? You're sitting here. When you your leg is this is the weight that's here. Then when you yeah, my right leg. I can pull this back. Pull the left leg back. Pull the left leg back and sink. Yeah, go to ho go to horse stance. Go to horse stance. So when you do the transition, you plant the back foot, and then you transition, then the weight spreads back into the stance. Then you avoid the double weightedness. Yeah, that's better. No, it's just, no. Yeah. Yeah, because you, you're here. Yeah. That was my problem too. Thank you, Sifu. Yeah. Problem solved. So, so, yeah, so you don't need to put so much effort in the, the front hand. You don't have to do that. You just here, just stroke. Well, if you just stroke, this becomes a pivot, right? But you, you just have to slide it. So you end up like this. Yeah. You know, sometimes put too much in, it, it dominates the movement, yeah. But don't, just let it go. Don't, like, don't. So when you do that, because if you're a little bit excessive, you lock out the movement, what happens? You're stuck. You really can't make your next move until you relax again. So you end up here. Then you have to do that. Right? Or here. You can't move, yeah. Learn to balance the motion. Here. Just relax a little bit, rise a little, and then fall. Give it a little bit of rise. Yeah, and then this hand should be down. Yeah, that way you don't you don't get stuck on on your thigh here. Let it go to here. See, because during the middle of the transition, I'm here. Get your stick here and move this hand up a little. Then when you go like this, then you pull it back at the very end. Now go. And then when you slide it back, it gives you a little bit of a leeway. So, so at the end of that movement, pull it back a little bit. Yeah, see how you, so because this now is very s stiff and strong, right? Uh -huh. But pull the hand back to here on the way back. See, so watch. Yep. One, two. Yep. Because I'm not holding so tight, uh -huh. when it gets, I'm creating this, and then 
now my new fulcrum point is that. Uh -huh. I, I shortened the fulcrum, but extended the end, more power goes to the end, right? Uh -huh. But stop it a little bit earlier than that. Yeah. So you create, wow. the you create the action without forcing it, see? Yeah, you see the action? Yeah. That happens in the beginning too. Yes. Throughout. I'm not doing it, but yes. <laughs> yeah. Probably not doing it. Oh, yeah. no, just stay with it. Use it as a body movement. Because when you're here, so you, because this is relaxed, right? Then I have a leeway. Yeah. Yeah. How much can the left hand turn? Pull back. Oh, you turn pretty much. Drop down. Turn. Yeah, go pull back, right? Pull. But you don't want you yeah, keep exactly. it here. Yeah. Right? So you had to adjust. Oh, was it too tight? It was too far away? Yeah. It should keep it because so, th so this alignment. And then when you drive. Yeah. You told me this before. Yeah. So it's too far out. Yeah. Bring it closer. Yeah. <laughs> but if you, you'll only, you can only get close if you relax your shoulders. Right, I relax my shoulders. If I tense my shoulders, then it creates a lateral motion. So you're creating, um, you know, unwarranted motion mo movements. Yeah, good. Oops. Okay. Guess we can bow out. If you, if you think you need to, you can wipe down your stick and put it away. So, if there's any. Okay, ready? So, I.